welcome back to another video, gentlemen. Today's going to be a good one. Before I begin, however, make sure you subscribe to the channel down below. I make videos specifically for you men to help you improve your confidence, self-esteem, communication, style, and many more. So make sure you like and subscribe down below. Now you may be wondering why the fuck are you wearing shades and you're inside? And the answer to that question is because I fucking want to. So today's topic is beware of the red pill. It's a fascinating topic this is. The red pill is an awakening a lot of guys have. And they usually discover the red pill after going through heartbreak. Put it this way, you never really discover the red pill when things are going well. Most of the time, you come across the red pill when you're frustrated and you're looking for answers. Usually, as I said, after you go through a heartbreak or you just are confused. You don't understand women. And then you come across these YouTubers that talk about the red pill. And you've got to be very careful, fellas. You've got to be very careful. It could get quite dark. And today I'm going to give you several reasons why. And I'll tell you this, guys. The red pill concepts, some of them are quite good. You know, teaching you about putting yourself first, you know, putting your purpose first. All of that is fantastic information. But then there's another side to the red pill that is fucked up and just nerdy. You know, like, there's a few sayings, for example, in the red pill community, like, she's not yours, it's just your turn. That is the most fucking loser thing you can say. I mean, you got a bunch of these retards, and I'm going to say exactly what I'm thinking. A bunch of retards sitting there, accepting their fate as a loser by saying things like, she's not yours, it's just your turn. Just shut the fuck up, man. If the relationship didn't work out, it didn't work out. Why are you saying this dumb shit? Basically relegating you to the sidelines, making you look like a pathetic excuse of a man. It just wasn't my... T I mean, it was my turn, but now she's on to this guy. I'm like, just shut up, man. What the fuck are you talking about? Oh, fucking pisses me off, man. you got to remember this, guys. Not all information is good information. You have to take it with a grain of salt. And you can apply the same way of thinking to my videos. If you don't like my videos, then don't watch them. Or if you don't like something that I preach, then don't apply it into your life. For example, the way I differ to most of these red pill people is I believe in God. I'm pro-family. I believe in having kids. But a lot of these YouTubers will talk about living a degenerate life fucking 50, 60, 70 women. Now I can do that if I wanted to, but I live in, according, in accordance to my faith, you know, to the teachings of my religion, to the teachings of God. And so I don't live this degenerate lifestyle telling girls to have abortions left, right and center. Now, if that's the lifestyle you want to live, by all means you do it, it's your life. You know, I'm not going to get in your way. You have to take the information with a grain of salt, fellas. Don't morph into someone you're not. Don't become another copycat, another replica, another one of these red pill customers, which is what essentially you become. You become a customer, always plugged in. It becomes addicting. It's like starting to take drugs. Slowly, you become addicted to it. And then you keep going back to their videos. Oh, women, women, you start becoming addicted. To the very thing that you're afraid of, women. And I say afraid for a reason, because a lot of these red pill people are afraid of women, they're terrified of them. And they're very angry and resentful. Which is why you see them go on explosive rants in their videos, some of them. And I'm pretty sure you're aware of who I'm talking about here. They're angry towards women. They're afraid of women, and they make women their entire existence. Instead of living a life that they enjoy living, having a purpose, eventually creating a family. They're just addicted to women. They're terrified of them. They're angry at them. They make women the center of their universe, which is exactly 
opposed to what they preach, right? They preach about being an independent man, all that stuff. But when you actually look at their lifestyle, they're addicted to women. They make women everything. Okay, so remember, not all information is good information. Apply what you like into your lifestyle in accordance to how you want to live your life. As I said, I'm pro, well, I believe in God and I'm pro-family. So living a degenerate life, having kids with women that I don't know, you know, or with multiple women from multiple different cities, it doesn't make sense, you know? And I'm proud to say that. I don't believe it's beta to believe in God and have a family. And this is another thing, man. For fuck's sake, these, these red pill YouTubers throw around this red pill, um, these red pill terminologies, like alpha and beta. And I know sometimes for the sake of explaining something, they help using those phrases. But these guys are throwing them every 10 seconds. Alpha, beta, alpha, beta, alpha, beta. Just listen, man. If you're a man who possesses alpha male characteristics, you do not need to keep reminding people that you're an alpha male, okay? I know sometimes for the sake of YouTube and getting views, you can put that in your title, which is a business move more than anything. But if you're sitting there saying alpha, alpha, beta, beta, like constantly, come on, man. I like using phrases such as how to be a strong man, level-headed man, stoic, instead of beta, alpha, this, all that stuff. Sigma, I mean, there's loads of them now. Okay, you don't want to be another fucking red pill customer, a little nerd, sat in his room angry because his girlfriend broke up with him six months ago. Stop constantly consuming their fucking content like drugs, adding fuel to the fire, adding more confusion into your life. You know, because I'll tell you this. There was a period where I was consuming red pill content and I noticed that what it started to do was it started to paint a very dark, gloomy image about women to me. It started to make me feel more depressed, shall I say, about the reality of women. Now listen, sometimes knowing the truth can sort of piss you off a little bit. And I agree, it can. But they take it to a whole other level. They start to make, you know, paint a very depressed picture for you. And you end up being a fucking gloomy bastard. You know, so I, I ended up fucking just unsubscribing from loads of those channels because it's just not, it's just not me, man. I'm a very optimistic person. Yes, there's a lot of things now that I'm aware of when it comes to female nature, which I'm glad that I learned about. Don't get me wrong, I'm not naive by any means. You know, I definitely developed my knowledge in that area, but I'm not making it my whole life. I'm not sitting there at night, oh, red pill. Oh my God, I need more information. Give me more information. I'm not doing that. I'm not doing that. Okay, take some of the concepts that you like, the self-help, improvement things, working on your money, that, that's good. I'm not gonna say that that's bad, but don't be coming back to their videos. Three reasons why women Constantly, you know, I don't even want this channel to be anything like that. I don't want to become another fucking YouTuber that all he does is talk about women. No, this is a self help channel dedicated mainly towards giving you help with communication, self confidence, the way you dress. I may talk about dating here and there and stuff like that, but it's not my entire personality. You're not going to hear me say alpha beta every two seconds, okay? So, listen. These guys on YouTube, some of them are great. Some of them have brilliant content when it comes to improving your finances, understanding women. Now, some of them are good, I'll be honest with you. But then there's another side that you've got to be careful of. You don't want to become another fucking red pill customer coming back, consuming their content, buying PDFs on why women left you, why all that. Don't make it your whole life, man. Live your life, find a purpose, work hard, train several times a week. And like I said, take information that you want to apply into your life and leave the dark shit that you don't want to bring into your You don't have to become like them. If they believe in, you know, casual sex and abortions with loads of different women, then that's what they want to do. That's cool. For me, it's disgusting. Does that make me beta? No. I don't see it that way. 
I'm living in accordance to my faith. But if you want to do it, then that's completely up to you. I'm a busy man, I've got shit to do. You know what I'm saying? I believe in raising kids, carrying on a legacy. But if you want to go that way, completely up to you. Alright, be careful of the red pill. Don't get into that dark, dark hole and enter a downward spiral of negative thoughts and don't do that. Alright, I hope this video helps, gentlemen. If you do like this video, make sure you like and subscribe down below. And I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.